questions you need to ask yourself. Are you willing to give 10, 15, 20 years of your life to build uh, a social impact enterprise before you know, it becomes sustainable? That's what the question you need to ask yourself. If not, don't do it. Don't fear failure. As long as it's not going to kill you, it's going to make you what? Stronger. Listen, guys, being a social uh, entrepreneur has been really uh, enlightening for the last six years. I didn't even know what, what the term was. I thought entrepreneurship starting business was just, that's what it was. You start a business. The structure might be the same. The problem is different. You know, you, you, you solving a problem, as you know, but the impact to be called a social enterprise, you have to look at the impact. You have to have some type of social impact. You're not just building a business. You're building a business that has an impact to others. And that's why I love, I'm passionate about social enterprise. That's why it's supposed to be entrepreneurship, business in general. This concept and idea about money, 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 just making money. I think it's, it's dying. We live in a world where, you know, uh, social bias, uh, social issues are growing. We have a population that's going to get to uh, a few more billions. And uh, all this accumulate all the problems we have. We all have to use logic at some point, right? Uh, the bottom line is this. We don't have enough resources to give everybody the luxury they want out of the life uh, we all seek to have. Big house, big car. That's a dream of most young men and women, but at the end of the day, there's not enough resources for all that life. And then when you realize as you get older, that's not quality of life uh, and, and it's not needed. So social enterprise, at least that concept is growing tremendously and it's a future. Of course, it'll have to be adapted to the economy of tomorrow, but the foundation is laying down. So if you're going to get started in this world of uh, social enterprise, you need to look at a few things and you need to be aware of a few things that I was not aware when I got started, right? You know, guys, social enterprise, it's a long-term game. It's a long-term game, man. You know, if you bring a solution, a new solution, innovative solution to people that are accustomed to use, you know, whatever solution they had in the past, you're not gonna be able to have people adopting those solutions immediately. It's a long-term game. Just developing the solution, having people to adopt the solution, finding a business model that's gonna work. So the number one key for social enterprise is what? It's patience. So patient, guys. Social enterprise is definitely not about speed. It's definitely not about getting results immediately. It's about testing. It's about, uh, you know, strategizing, executing, seeing what work, what doesn't work. You're going to spend a lot of time on, on, on the board, you know, figuring out different models, different options, different business models, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it's, it's years in, years out, man. And patient really summarize everything that you need to have um, to really move forward. If you're not a patient person, if you think you're going to be able to accomplish things immediately and all those things and get results you want, you know, the same day or the same year now, do not, do not start your social enterprise if you're not a patient person, if you're not willing to be patient. The second thing is you need to clean your brain of whatever you know about entrepreneurship. Because social, enter uh, uh, social enterprise is totally different. It requires you to have a different mindset. You have to think different. You have to open your mind to new stuff, new approaches, different ways of doing business. A lot of time in social enterprise, what we've learned is the margins 
the revenue margins are very small because if you're dealing with businesses in low income areas you're going to deal with low margins so how do you build sustainability you can have the impact yes you can develop the solution yes but build a sustainable model from scratch you have no roadmap you have nobody you know to 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 copy your model or see somebody who's done what you know done something similar if you're really innovative and you have no roadmap nobody who's doing what you're doing it's tough man. so you got to build a sustainable model from the beginning you have to test and make sure your model is sustainable and that's why we develop what we call a hybrid model and we'll put the video somewhere I did a vlog about that you need to check it out hybrid model I believe I truly believe the hybrid model in the social impact space is the only way you can combine social enterprise and sustainability or you dead in the water a lot of social enterprise out there are not sustainable and the only way they, they, they survive is because what they keep raising money unfortunately raising money is not a business model because at some point you're gonna hit a, a, a cap you're gonna reach to a level where you can't raise more money that's what happened to a lot of companies that's why they go public because they run out of money to raise from the private sector or the private level and then they have to go public you know so raising money even if you're good at it don't bank on it in the long term man so as i said earlier you're going to need patience right you know you're going to need uh to build a sustainable model that's going to take time also so what basically what you're going to need is money you know social enterprise is highly stressful uh it's 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 um uh, it's a game of of trials and error of figuring out things of networking of trying to figure out where am i going to get the next fund to reach a certain milestone you know it's about pitching all the time you know finding you know uh, the right uh, impact investors the right uh, philanthropic funding you know until you reach that sustainability and that's a long-term game and again you if 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 you're not willing to do all those things and if you're not willing uh, to take the steps necessary to achieve those goals it's going to be very difficult if not not possible for you to achieve whatever you want to achieve so to me and what i truly believe is anything you do in life you need a, an engine you need something that keep pushing you to keep fighting to keep overcoming those obstacles to keep blocking the stress and all and focusing on the solution and um, that's called passion if you're not build if you don't have that passion within you if you don't have that passion within you to do whatever you want to do as a social enterprise don't do it. passion is what's going to make you going and going and going and going and going for as long as it takes to achieve whatever dreams or goals you have and that probably works for most of the things um even traditional businesses but more for social enterprise guys for more for social enterprise because you're not driven by money you're not driven uh, um, by recognition you're driven by the impact you're trying to solve you know and that's passion you have to be passionate about helping people you have to be passionate about solving problems that's going to be your drive and if you don't have that man don't get started don't waste your time because if you focus on money if you focus on fame and all those their recognition when those things come and go because they will come and go what's left but passion is a fire that it, it, it keeps burning man no matter what man if you're driven by passion man you're unstoppable what's up everybody first of all thank you for watching all the videos i'm working on a project right now that i'm really really passionate about it's called the 50k challenge and that's 50,000 copies we need to sell of the book out of every 20 sales i'll be giving one book to a young entrepreneur or young students and out of every 500 sales i'll do a one-week mentorship to a young entrepreneur 
I truly believe with your support, I can achieve that goal, guys. So share the books. If you haven't got it, get it. If you don't like to read, buy it for somebody else. And please share it also on social media. Thank you.